friends, as I enter the world of Sensor Peso, which is described as a mini virtual reality opera, and it's available for the Vive and the Oculus Rift. So it's basically an on rails experience, and let's see what it's like. A nebula scene with a burning tree and Sopranos in the background. Flames bursting from the uh, trunk. Quite an intense scene. And already I know that I'm gonna get weird vivid dreams from this as you do with most virtual reality experiences because they're so kind of immersive and also oh, a bit of a African or Middle Eastern drum beat and the boat on the in a the lake there's not much I can really do here I'm just kind of following and listening to the music and random lights in a world which looks like it could be earth but it's got a weird purple tree and odd clouds and weird lights and that strange wormhole which I seem to be going to. Nice singing in the background. There's a guy doing weird movements. Weird like odd finger movements that I've never seen a, a person do in real life. And another guy. Oh, I know I'm going to get nightmares from this. Some strange dude with his knees bent, clutching a lantern, doing just again odd, really odd movements. Interesting. What the hell is that? I'm moving and that giant head's just staring at me. I can't. I really can't wait for this part to start to change because that is one of the most frightening things I've ever seen. God, for that. So there's a guy there in a nice waistcoat and bow tie. Um, and I've gone to slow motion. At least this guy looks to have more kind of natural movements, whereas those first two are frightening. Good, it's, I feel kind of grounded in more in reality now. No, not anymore. Why did they do that? My controllers aren't, aren't doing anything, but if they would, I'd just shoot a flare into the sky. They say, save me from this apocalypse. Having said that, it really is quite stunning visually, and the music's. Um, together as a package, it just is a really intense experience, which is even getting more and more and more intense now that I'm in what looks like some kind of volcano. 
with flames shooting out from lava flows and clouds of fiery gas. slabs parallel to each other with a little uh, light oh, going upwards now. Now I'm I'm scared of heights and I just I've always wanted to know how it trans would translate to virtual reality experience and it kind of does even though I'm in a really artificial construct here I'm still getting kind of little small kind of um, feelings of vertigo and now just angelic synth music is playing as I'm going towards the light some kind of heaven angelic song oh and that's that so that was a short experience it was I'm not sure how many minutes that was but it feels like it was four or five minutes but it was very intense and I know I'm gonna be thinking of the scenes when I get my VR off and those weird human characters are gonna stop me from sleeping so as a free experience um, on the Vive I'm going to give this 8 out of 10 because it's just a, a nice thing to show people, especially if they're into opera and uh, um, kind of more contemporary art. Thank you.